sit back relax maybe grab a snack because this is going to be a long one but oh so worth it at the end of this i will be showing you pictures and videos and you're going to want to listen to this hi letty i want to share probably the most maddest thing that has ever happened to me and i still can't find any logical answers to my tricky pink shoes i bought my pink trainers just as covid was coming to an end i got them at a sports store brand new and instantly fell in love with them when i saw the display models of them in the store during COVID, I'd put on a little weight and had taken up walking to try and shift some of the weight I've gained. These shoes were perfect for walking and I instantly bonded with them, those shoes being my go-to pair for taking walks and hikes in. A few months ago, I took up running and bought a new pair of better suited running shoes and began to wear my newer running shoes for walking and running in. At the start of August, I was having a very much needed clear out of my clothes and shoes. I put a lot of my clothes on Vinted, the selling site, and decided to put my pink trainers up for sale with a bunch of other shoes I didn't wear to try and raise some extra cash for a new car. This is where things started to get weird, and I mean really weird. One evening after work, I decided to go on a walk around one of my local parks. It was a shortish walk and a walk I was very familiar with. I'd started this walk when I got my pink trainers at the end of COVID. As I was walking down the trail in the distance, I saw a pair of pink shoes standing in the middle of the trail. Nobody was around and initially I thought maybe some kid had left them there, and I find it rather amusing as it looked as if someone had just stepped out of the shoes mid walk. As I walked closer to the shoes, my heart almost came out of my chest. It was my pink shoes. Yes, those old Nike pink technos of mine were sat directly facing me. At this point, I hadn't sold the shoes, and before I left home, I saw my pink shoes by the door where I last left them. How on earth did they get there? I decided to pick them up and take them home with me. When I got back, you've got it, my pink and white trainers weren't by the door where I'd left them. Not that I needed confirmation that the shoes I'd just come across were mine, as they had the same wear marks and indentations on the soles and were laced exactly how I always laced them. I got so paranoid at the fact that I may have had a weird stalker who stole the shoes and placed them in that position. The scary thing is, they were positioned how I even walked as I walked slightly inwards. Was someone watching my moves down to the T. I need to mention also I live alone with no pets. The only person who had a key to my property is my mom, but she was away at this point. Being extremely worried and shaken by this, I took the shoes down from the selling site just in case someone had hacked my account to gain my personal information. I immediately ordered a Wi-Fi CCTV camera for my house and checked all of my property, but there was no damage anywhere. I placed the pink shoes in my cupboard and closed the cupboard doors, leaving the trainers on my shoe rack shelving. I'd be lying if I said this was an isolated incident however a few days later i came back home from work and went to put my work shoes in the cupboard and found my pink trainers had fallen off the second shelf and had landed perfectly next to each other resting on my running shoes i had 110 percent placed them next to my white converse on the second shelf I spent again a pretty sleepless night going through the 9 hours of CCTV footage to see if anyone was in my house. Nobody had entered my house, however, my camera's audio picked up the sound of the shoes falling from the shelf. This happened at 9.47, roughly an hour before I returned from work. My sister was really invested in all of this, unlike me who is rather logical and rational when it comes to unexplainable situations. My sister is quite spiritual. She told me not to worry about it and I couldn't help but laugh when she told me that my old pink sneakers just wanted to be worn again. When I actually thought of what she said, as insane as it seemed, I slightly believed her. My sister has a Japanese friend and she told me how her friend said that there's a Japanese mythology called Bakizori, where it is believed that clothes and other inanimate objects come to to life after being neglected and are left for a prolonged period of time. Yes, permission to laugh at me who believes her shoes have feelings. Bakazori. That's how you pronounce it. I just looked it up. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to disrespect anybody. So the latest weird episode of my pink Nikes happened literally yesterday. My sister was around and we went for a walk. She told me I should wear the shoes and take them for a walk with us. I was still pretty terrified of them regardless of the innocent cute backstory my sister was insinuating upon them. However, I put my big girl pants on and wore them for the walk. Other than me realizing how comfortable they were, nothing crazy happened on our walk. When we got back to mine, my sister suggested to put the camera on them 
for a while and see if anything happened. I agreed to it and my sister ended up talking to the shoes, asking them to move and assured them that if they moved, I wouldn't throw them out. I did laugh slightly at her, however, she was clearly being serious and was talking to them as if they were pets. We left my shoes alone with the camera running for 20 minutes and when I played back the footage, my sister swore she saw the shoes moving. I didn't see it and she insisted I watch the footage again. And there it was. I couldn't believe it. Both shoes were seemingly shaking or tapping with nobody in them, although very subtly. At first, I thought it was a camera glitch. However, my sister cropped the footage and it is evident that they were moving. I was freaked out yet again by this. However, my sister reassured me it was absolutely fine. It clearly wasn't fine. Shoes should not move or follow me places. <laughs> I still have the shoes and I'm trying to come to grips with them. Despite their particular traits, I have no idea if this is a ghost or the shoes themselves doing it but for one thing this is by far the most craziest experience that had ever happened to me and i truly believe now that the world is a crazy place and has opened my eyes especially now when i hear other people's stories i'd love to know what your thoughts are or if your viewers have any thoughts on this now it's time for the pictures and the videos so this is the original self pictures of the shoes when she put them up on the website just another view and this is the last picture on the site this is a picture of her new running shoes next to the pink ones. This is a picture of her wearing the shoes. This is a picture of how she found the shoes on the trail and she says this is unedited. And this is just like the same picture just zoomed in so you guys can see the placement of the shoes. This is a picture of how she found the shoes when they had fallen from the shelf. And the video that I'm about to show you guys, it's just the audio that you have to listen to. So put the volume up. This is the audio from the CCTV of the shoes falling from the shelf, unedited, cropped in length due to the file size. So the last video I'm about to show you is of the shoes moving. I've watched this video so many times and I swear I can see the shoes moving, but what is your opinion? What do you guys think? I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this story, I read it and like there was videos. I was so scared of watching the videos because I honestly thought somebody was messing with me and they were gonna like jump scare me as a joke. And I feel bad because I'm just like, I fully thought you were fucking with me. She's like, hey, no worries at all. I promise you this isn't a joke or some kind of hoax and I appreciate how crazy this may seem. As I said, I've never been a spiritual person and this is the first major event that's happened to me and I'm like, what the hell is going on? What do you guys think? Sound off in the comments i need to hear this 